This is a production of Cornell University. some idea that's how big the leaf was and so what you're seeing in there is basically that's the, the actual corn right there and uh, I don't see any bud coming up yet which which is a good sign that probably means this will be a little dormant a little bit longer succulent roots there yeah well and that's a good it's like definitely the, a lot yeah yeah okay all right well I'm gonna sort of get a wedge That sounds like a good one. <laughs> oh, look at this. We found buried in here. I was, this is really cool. So I, I had feared this was lost and it, it had gone into the pot. We planted this on August 11th, 2013. Uh, and it was weighed on June 1st of 2013 and it weighed 18 pounds. Uh, which is very good because I'm expecting this to weigh a lot more based on how big the air egg was. Got it. Okay. There is excitement. Wow. I almost feel like an archaeologist. <laughs> <laughs> what blows up baffles me is. So what do you think? Did all that media just sort of leak out through the bottom of the pot? It's pretty compressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that must, yeah, that's pretty true. I think this could weigh more than the other one. I mean, this is a massive corn. And we have a good scale downstairs that Andy and I tested yesterday that um, from the top, the roots come from the top of the corn. And, uh, and then they go around it, go down, and grow around the corn as the corn gets converted to energy for the, for the plants so they, it's necessary to plant them several inches down because if you don't the roots will sort of go up and be out of the soil which is not ideal. Pretty soon I think we can flip it over. Yeah. 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 Oh, you know, this may not, so my hunch actually is that this may not be a flower because do you see Bugs are the bud is, is on the periphery, which may mean that this won't flower, which is good and bad. It's good because when it does flower, it'll be a really good, a huge specimen. Because I, I'm, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna guess that this weighs about 50 pounds. You can see all these roots that are coming off the top of the corn. Yeah, that's really good. That's a good observation, but. I mean, I'm actually really, really pleased as the health of this. You know, it's always you're never quite sure what you're going to get. Andy knows this as a potato grower. <laughs> Sometimes you uh, you just don't know what it looks like till you dig it up. And I'm really pleased. This is this is great. Yeah, it's it's impressive how it sort of recessed the the area where the bud mm -hmm. differentiates from. And what's different about Titan that that compared to some other arums is is it really rarely produces what I would call a cormlet, a uh, smaller corn. Other species like konjac would have uh, quite a number of smaller corms in there that you could grow up if you wanted. So um, aside from leaf cutting, the, the way to propagate Titan seems to be received. If I remember correctly, reading it in in one of these articles, he he actually was saying. Correct me if I'm wrong or look this up, but he was actually cutting one of the uh, uh, leaflets. You know, this is actually a single leaf, uh, but he was cutting it right here where it was first compounded and rooting that. And then eventually, what happens is 
is a little bit of a form of a bell brown base of that. So it is possible to do these to leaf cutting, but uh, we haven't we haven't done that here. We're getting down to the corn and not much else. Yeah, I think it's, it's I mean I think at this point if we weigh it and maybe if, you know I don't think there's more than a pound of media that we're getting weighed. When I when I weighed we stinky it actually weighed one uh, weighed fifty one pounds but I had about this much or maybe a little more pro mix on it so I just sort of rounded down to fifty. So as I was saying earlier, Peg, you know the the pedial on this was was much had a much wider diameter than, than the, the last aeroid, the last vegetative state of our, our flowering titan. So that was when I was really excited about the fact that we had obviously another strong specimen. So um, the, the, the actual diameter of the petiole was, was about here, and you can see right along the edge of the plant where that was, or the edge of this indication where that was. So what do you think? Should we take this downstairs and wait? Okay. One, two, three. Right. I think it was about 16. Oh, close to half a meter. Yeah. Yeah, this is a decent size. Tim is uh, one of our Dutch interns, so he really knows uh, geophytes pretty well. Have you, seen a, have you ever seen a lily that big? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go find out how much it weighs. Okay. Uh -huh. right. So we're measuring in pounds. Yes. All righty. Wow. 55.9 pounds. 55.9 pounds. Including a little bit of media, but not too much. Yeah, I, I'm going to say that we're, we're at least 55 corn. Absolutely. The corn would probably, I, I haven't actually paid attention to these things over time, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if the corn weight decreases for a little while as it, as it desiccates. Uh, so based on flower, on the weight, it's, it's a, uh, it is a blooming size corn. Uh, and I'm, I'm really excited now to see whether this does. And based on where, where I see the new bud emerging, my hypothesis is that it will be a vegetative stage, which is also encouraging because that means that the net, when it does bloom, you can have a really large bloom. This is a, this is a huge farm. So this is as, this is as good as it is. I mean, this is just way better than I thought it would be. So good news. This could be not so weed stinky. This has been a production of Cornell University, on the web at cornell.edu.